Welcome to another lesson for N2 Electrical Trade Theory, and this is the preparation for the upcoming national exam paper. And we'll be looking at question two. Don't forget to watch those adverts and to watch this video till the end. Now, question two is on conductors, insulators, and cables. State four factors that influence the choice of a good conductor for a particular application. Conductors should be affordable, readily available, highly conductive, mechanically strong, flexible, corrosion resistant, and able to solder well or ductile. In part two of question two, state two reasons why carbon is used to manufacture brushes. Carbon is hard wearing, can withstand high temperature, and the dust acts as a lubricant. In part three, what do the following abbreviations stand for? PVC stands for polyvinyl chloride. XLPE stands for cross-linked polyethylene. Pulsewa stands for paper insulated, lead covered, steel wired on the cable. Right, to wrap up question two, we have a three phase calculation. Determine the full load line current of a 380 volt, 60 kilowatt, three phase motor that has a full load power factor of 0, 0,8. The formula to calculate power for a three phase circuit is square root three, multiplied by the line voltage, multiplied by the line current, and cos theta. So, therefore, to determine the full load line current, it will be the power divided by square root three, the line voltage, and the power factor. Now, power is 60 multiplied by 1000 to give us 60,000 watts divided by square root three, the line voltage of 380 volts and the power factor of 0, 0,8. Therefore, the line current is 113,95 amps. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the rest of this preparation for the upcoming exams.